Welcome back to Developer Commentary. My name is Mike Stout. And I am Tony Garcia. And this this looks like it's going to be at least close to, if not the last episode for Ratchet 3. Penultimate episode, I think. Yeah. I mean, well, the fo- boss fight after this. It might be lumped in. might be separate. I don't know. And then after that, we'll have to get together some multiplayer. Get that on <laughs> We're there. We're going to have to do that for sure. And uh, before that, we've also got a bonus episode. So even though this is the last level, it's not really the last that you'll see of us. Uh, well, hopefully not. <laughs> we'll see how it ends up. So uh, this level, man. All right. So uh, so who did this level? Like You did the Tyranoids, right? I did the Tyranoids. Uh I seem to remember there was somebody else, but I don't know who it was. Because I don't think I handled the whole level. I think I only did uh, some parts of this level. Uh, so it's hard to say for sure. But man, I, I, uh, I remember this level being really hard. Like, uh, well, it's the last level, Mike. Well, yeah. It's supposed to be hard. Yeah. I just, more than normal. Like, we, we ended up doing a lot of uh, bringing the difficulty down. It was, it was just too much. Yeah, I mean, I think there there's... Uh, there's a couple schools of thought, I suppose. Uh, you know, some people like the last level to really be the culmination of everything you've been doing up until this point in the game. Uh, some people like the last level to be a little bit, you know, easier, and you're just supposed to feel powerful and you're supposed to fly through. Uh, and uh, we were definitely trying to straddle that line a little bit uh, to, you know, make you feel powerful and, you know, you have all your weapons but at the same time, give the player a real challenge to have to go through. So I don't know if there's anything really left for us to talk about this game, Tony. Uh, well, I'm kind of engrossed in playing the game now, so it's now your job to fill um, that air. Oh, you know what we can talk about is the story that we've been pimping since forever. Oh. The fight. Is this what the fight was about? Yeah, this, this Tira guy set up right here was what the fight was about. What's the? Uh, why don't you fill in fill in the backstory? Because uh, as I said, I do not remember any of this. So this whole section was designed to be kind of a tier guys section, right? And you were responsible for it for some reason. I mean, I don't, I don't know why you didn't do the tier guys, right? I did not, not as far as I know. Uh, but we were uh, uh, we had gone to a user test, and at this specific puzzle, which looked totally different back then. Uh, users were just going up to it and dying. These turrets were just killing them, right? Uh, and they would go up and die and go up and die because they weren't thinking about putting the tier guys on. Like, it just, you know, they they uh, uh, they hadn't used it in a long time. Yeah, so it's been a while. They didn't expect to be able to use it, right? And so what we, were, what we said was, oh, let's take the turrets out of this and just, you know, have the turrets not be part of the challenge. And you didn't want to take the turrets out. You wanted to try to... Uh, uh, solve the problem by moving the whole setup further back into the uh, the room, which is a totally acceptable attempt to solve the problem. It was just that like we didn't have any more user tests after this, right? Right. So the messages I was getting from my superiors are, we need to fucking change this. Messages I was getting from you were, I'm not going to fucking change this. And it all culminated in a session at my desk. I think you were you had been like not sleeping for a long time. Possibly. That sounds point. like something I would be doing. And we ended up screaming at each other. And then you you stomped off, and then uh, Algar came up to my desk, and he's just like, is everything okay, Mike? Like, what's going on? And then I ended up getting talked to, and it came up in my review. And uh, uh, and you just apparently don't remember any of this. No, I don't recall any of that at all. Like, you were just in a haze for that entire I don't remember pushing thing. on the turrets. I don't remember screaming about this. I can't even imagine why I would care so much about something I really had nothing to do with. You just, you just, for some reason, you thought that, it, uh, or, or at least what you were saying at the time, is that if the turrets weren't there, then why even bother having the challenge? I mean, that is a point. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't know why you would argue so much for it. But this was the compromise. What was the compromise? I don't. The compromise was uh, if you if you run backwards. Uh, it used to be uh, keep going that way. The 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 force field used to be right here where you're standing. And we, we got the artist to carve a hole out in that wall and like push everything further backwards so that when you came right up over the ramp, you wouldn't get shot. I see. So you would come up off off of the uh, magnet boots. Yep. 
and immediately get murdered by the turrets. Yes, because you didn't have a chance to put the... That does seem like a bad place to be murdered by the turrets. Totally awful place to get murdered by turrets, right? And, and you know, your suggestion of moving it back, great suggestion. We just weren't 100% sure it would solve the problem because people still didn't realize that they could avoid getting hit by those by switching to the, the tier guys. So. Right. So we got to... You know, we got it all figured out eventually. It worked. It seems to. I mean, we don't know for certain that it worked. Maybe there was secretly a whole batch of people who were super frustrated if and you couldn't got, figure out what they were supposed to do. If you got super frustrated by that, let us know in the comments, because I'm actually really curious. See, this is a similar area where, you know, I think... But you can kind of experiment with it here, you know? Yeah, I think in general the, this these spaces are too cramped, by and large, just to really get a real sense of what's supposed to be going on. For sure, yeah. And uh, since the last level is usually really the last level that we do, this has the least amount of time to go back and make corrections on it. So a lot of what we did during this part of the, uh, of the game was just make the smallest changes we could to affect the maximum Oh, what just benefit. happened here? I think you're going into a cutscene? No, I was in the middle of a tear guys puzzle. Oh. I, oh, I think the game crashed. Dude, we crashed the game. I think it's switching sources. Okay, hang on. PlayStation seems to still be on. Huh. It stopped recording, whatever that was. Something weird happened. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, we'll just ignore it. Yeah. So, yeah, horribly dorbly, whatever the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> yes, the spaces are not very well laid out for these uh, challenges. I think they were designed as placeholders, so the challenge came in like way after they had been designed, and it was you know. I see. It's too late to do anything about it. See these, I th these tier guys things always get me a little bit flustered because I never had a PlayStation One. That was never in my gaming repertoire, uh, and I only really started playing the PlayStation at the time I was starting to work at Insomniac. So one of my big problems, even now to this day, with these kind of games is it's not second nature to me, especially circle and square. I mix up a lot which one is circle and which one is square. Right, right. Uh, so when I have to play these tier guys puzzles, I always feel like I'm taking a guess. Whenever a circle or a square come up, I'm just like, I think it's the one on the right, and I go for it. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But it's my big problem with these kind of things is that to me, the PlayStation controller layout isn't second nature like, you know, A and B are. A and B, I always know where A and B are. Square and circle, I always get confused. And it's a bit much for us to be asking you to remember the entire controller. Yes. Like, including up, down, left, right. Like, we had more than enough buttons that you were pressing. We didn't need to exponentially widen the space like that. Yeah. I think if I had to do it again, I would have it all be one button, but keep the different rhythms of it, you know? So that I see. So it's just like X, X, and then like, you know, just at different tempos. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you have to hold it, sometimes you don't. And that would be enough. Like, the, you could well, still I make think puzzles that were the hard. The direction button, I think, is fair. I mean, up, down, left, right, it's not hard. It's just sort of figuring out the controller layout, I think. I mean, it's if it's hard for me, I'm certain it's hard for other people who maybe don't play his games as much. But we could also have just just done the directional layout, you know? Like uh, Yes. Uh, it, it, like we for some reason when I designed it, I added in too, I think too many variables to keep in your head at one time. Uh, so I, I think that's not entirely just you not being familiar with the controller. It's also kind of my fault for designing it that way. Well, I, I mean, it's not like other games don't do it. And then when I was talking about the games that give me a real problem are, I mean, at least in this one, when you fail, uh, failing's not a big deal. We checkpoint you at to the beginning of the last puzzle. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on to failing is not the worst thing in the world. Right, we don't take away your money or experience. But or in like a game like uh, God of War is the one that gives me a lot of trouble. Like if you fail a quick time event in God of War, that's a big deal. Uh, you really do lose a lot from failing a quick time event in God of War. Uh, and those are the ones that always just like piss me off because I get square or circle wrong and all of a sudden I lose my killing blow or I didn't finish off the boss properly or something like that. 
And it's a pain in the ass. I mean, it's a real pain in the ass. And, um... I mean, I, I guess we're on a, a, a decent clip now where... We were talking about this just the other day, is that, uh... This generation's been going on for a really, really long time. Yeah, this is the longest generation ever. Right. Unprecedented. Most so, generations last about five years. We're on year eight. Yeah. So it's not like I've been having to learn a lot of new controller setups in the meanwhile. But if any company just up and decided to, you know, drastically change their controller, like Nintendo does every single generation, <laughs> that might be a bit of a problem. Oh, we got hacker puzzles in here too? We yeah. really just threw every gadget in. Yeah, well, it's the final level. Like, <laughs> that was that was the thing. Every gadget goes in this I level. I haven't played a hacker puzzle in a while. Same I don't think you played any of them, yeah. Or actually, well, when you played when I played through, before, I was yeah. playing all the hacker puzzles. But I forgot I had to shoot those red things. So, I mean, that's not a good start. Well, every time you lose, it gets easier, Tony. I should just sit here and lose for about 20 minutes. And then they'll all be green. Yeah. Yeah. And that will be the most entertaining thing that any of our fans <laughs> have ever seen. Man, I like the uh, high-res effect textures they put there. Maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's it's hard to tell. I mean, it does seem like everything was indeed resed up. Oh, I'm going to lose. Oh. Saw that a little bit too late. You want me to do the uh, hacker puzzle? I'm no, pretty I'll good get at him this. through. I had a lot of fun making these. That's the end of that story. <laughs> Did you notice how many another, grains were there? Another brilliant insight. That was brought to you by the mind of Mike Stout. Boom, 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 boom. Most of the people who listen to this probably weren't alive when NBC ran that campaign. Probably not. So, uh, sorry. Or maybe you're not of this country. Sorry. Now we're getting through. Now we're moving on. We're going at a good clip now. This is a long puzzle, man. Yeah, I wonder who's responsible for that. Whoever it is should be punished. Putting all these shields that last forever. Oh, look at that. Last minute save. All, all done. Through. No problem. All done. Oh, more guys now. Nothing but oh, guys, man. Nothing but guys. What do I got here? It's gonna really make a difference. It's a raining man. Maybe not. This is worthless, this gun. Jesus. It was so good when we started I out. I expected it to be a little bit better than this, but I've unloaded a whole clip on this one guy. Can you charge it up? I did. I was charging it up a couple times. It didn't seem to make much of a difference. Wow. Well, it was the first weapon you ever got, man. This is true. Why don't you use the uh, refractor to kill him? Oh, I didn't even see that beam. It was barely doing any damage to me. Yes. Well, it would kind of suck if it did a ton of damage to you. Well, it. I mean, it doesn't scale up with anything else. It's still just doing one point of damage. Well, yeah, that's on per It's just to make you play the hit reaction, not to... I uh, see. We thought it would be weird if it didn't do anything to you. Uh, but killed enemies instantaneously. But we also didn't want you to run across it and die. Because when that happened in the user test, that was terrible. It, w it actually did used to just kill you? Uh, it wouldn't kill you, but it would damage you a lot more. In some of the early versions. I didn't even see what that wrench bolt was doing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not right. But did that actually move? I don't know. I'm clear that I had to do it. Yeah. But I don't know what it actually did. Oh, maybe it raised that thing? Maybe. I wasn't significant enough to notice. You know, it's sad because I designed this puzzle. Uh, this was Colin's level. Okay. Colin, uh, uh, Colin designed the level, but uh, what happened was um, 
Colin really didn't want to design the refractor segment, and I really didn't want to design my enemy segment. So uh, we so you traded. Tag teamed it. Yeah, I did his. Uh, I did this puzzle here and a couple others in exchange for some enemy segment work. Dude, this level looks good. It does look really good. Like with the resed up textures too. I wish I could say who did it, but I have no idea. I gotta get out of there. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Oh, you're running short, man. I am running short. Can you uh, mega turret it? Mega turret's so worthless. Oh, down I go. How far back? All the way oh, back. Oh, all the way. All right, I got my quarter up. All right. I was pleased to see in Wreck-It Ralph that they, they still had the quarter up thing. You know, from... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And the Tyranites, uh, I really like the robotic textures uh, in HD. They came out really well. Yeah, they did come out really, really, really good. So I was right about this level being really hard. It's kind of hard. I mean, one of the things that... Um, is really interesting about playing through this again at this point is uh, I remember back when I was first making this game I was definitely of the impression that you know hard games were good because they were hard which is you know a stupid thing but that's what it, that's where my mindset was at that point I was still like oh no all the games I liked growing up were hard so hard games are are good and it's not a problem and uh, whenever there was pushback on anything that I did they'd be like your your level's too hard you need to make it easier. And I would play through it, and I'm like, it's totally not hard. It's not hard enough. I need to make it harder. And they're like, you're not objective, because you play through it every single day for eight hours a day. How could you possibly know if it's hard or not? Uh, and so it's fun to go back now and be like, well, maybe this is actually a little bit hard, and they're not playing <laughs> it every single day. Did you ever come up with tricks for uh, like playing it handicap style? No. Like turn the controller upside down? play with your face no not me i was always just i always wanted to just make it hard for myself that's and so i would just keep tuning the levels up until it was actually hard for me and then it would murder the little children apparently and you wouldn't have to watch that you would get to sit safe in your little bunker and while keep we making watched, hard levels while we watched the children cry over and over again And just to be clear, it's not that you're saying that hard games are stupid, but that people who think that... That's what I'm saying, actually. Hard games I'm saying are good exactly are that. stupid. Especially that one. If you think hard games are good, I think you're stupid. That is absolutely what I'm saying. Is that exactly what you're saying? Exactly. Or are you saying that 100%. if you think that hard games are good because they're hard, that they're stupid? No. Anybody who likes a game that's hard is clearly, is clearly stupid. That's what I'm saying. All right. You heard yeah. it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Tony hates everybody. Yeah, exactly. No, but your real point, uh, I think you I think you were going to touch on an actual good point about how uh, it's not that hard games are bad necessarily. It's just that hard games, good hard games are good in spite of being hard, not because of it. Right. They're, uh, they're good for other reasons, and then the, the difficulty of them meshes well with that reason for right. you, right? Like... Uh, Taking a crappy game and making it really hard actually doesn't make it any better. It's necessary. One could argue that it makes it worse. Yes. Because you're playing through this crappy game a whole bunch of times. Because <laughs> it's so hard. So if, uh, if you can't make it good, make it easy. Because then at least people won't have to struggle to play your shitty game. That's right, exactly. Right? But if you can make it good... And you have a really good understanding of what makes it fun, then sure, you can make it hard because you have a really good grasp of what makes it fun. Right. And there are games that are like that. You know? um, I Well, I was telling you yesterday that uh, I started playing Max Payne 3, and uh, it's pretty shocking how much harder that game is than most other games that you know sort of come out uh, these days. It's just a huge, like... Right, because you you played on normal and got the crap beat. I'm getting my I'm getting the crap kicked out of me, and I'm not used to it because usually normal is, it's not that hard, and these guys are really not pulling any punches about how hard their game is, and it's not bad. It's just really surprising because I did not expect it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've been playing uh, FTL and XCOM, and those games are fucking brutal, man. <laughs> but uh, but they're really good. So, you know, I, I kind of want to be up to the challenge. If they weren't really good, then I would prefer them not to be right. difficult too. It's right? just adding in insult to injury at that point. It's just uh, masochism. We're almost back to where we were. How are you doing health-wise? Doing okay. Mm -hmm. This is the this is sort of the weird setup. If I don't have any good weapons, but, you know, disc plug gun is doing not bad for me. But now I'm gonna set it up. All right, this is the clinch, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Garcia, trying to conserve ammo. Trying to dodge the fire of the. The three fact that there's tyrants. three of them. I think those are the five eyed, but there's three of them, and they all just shoot right at the same time. The minute I step out there, <laughs> it's it's brutal. Who's whose fault is that? Their shooting behavior, Tony. Who could have possibly made it that way? I don't know. Probably a designer asked me. Probably. To do it. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, they probably said oh, we, this is exactly how we want it. You sure it wasn't? And I probably pushed back. I'm like, no, it needs to be better. It and needs, to like, be oh, it needs to be harder. Needs to be harder. And they were like, no, this is how we want it, and you're going to do it because you're just a programmer, and we're the all-powerful designers. Is that how your experience went, Tony? That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Man, I can't even get out there. I don't want to get out there. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, some oh space. shit. Oh, crap. It's not even... What? Shoot out there, you stupid thing. That's not going to help me get out there. And I don't have... Uh, maybe this maybe this will do. Oh, it's going to go... Oh, I yeah, keep I thinking it's going to go right over. You just got to kill that guy. He's the problem. Oh, oh! Down I go. All right. All right, your turn, buddy. All right, let's see what I can do. Oh, you know what I should have been using? The sniper rifle. That probably would have helped. The sniper rifle that you were telling me was not worth the money, right? It was not worth the money. But it is now? But I could have used something. I needed a long range something and this, this sniper rifle might have been good. I gotta say that that setup is kind of a dick move. Yeah, <laughs> they, a little bit. They bust out at you. Who did it? Probably Colin. <laughs> Always making those dick moves, that Colin. Let's get see what we got. Oh man, are you serious? Let's just get rid of some of those guys first. <laughs> well let's see how it does. It's not the most effective weapon, the mini turret, but But I've got twelve shots. That's true. Oh man! If one of those things hits me, I'm 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 done. Yeah, I know it's really bad. Three. Oh! Oof. <laughs> Threading the needle there, Mike. Damn. Alright, uh, let's see, what about these guys? Oh, and they can't even get out there? Yeah, it's too uh, far. Alright. No, there's no reticle on the rift inducer. I mean, maybe you can charge out to those crates, those cover crates out there, but uh, I don't know how wise a plan that is. One, two, three. Oh, they're all offset. <laughs> what a ridiculous setup. You can do it, Mike. Oh, oh, there we go. There's one down. Oh, two of them down. But now the threes are coming out. The threes aren't as big of a problem. It's those fours that are the real, real issue. Oh, and oh, that other guy's him. down. Now you can. Now you see. Now you can push through. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that would have been uh, an interesting way to go. 
If by interesting you mean shitty. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I'm out of... All right. You're close, Mike. I think you're close. Who knows where you put that checkpoint. I there think I think this is close. Man. Let me just I think there's a secret. Alright, well you know what that is going to be. That is probably gonna be the end of this episode. For this episode of Developer okay. Commentary. We wanna wish all of you a happy holidays. That's and right. a, a happy new year. Yes. And uh, and we'll see you next year. Well Well next I don't we might be done by the end of the year. Okay. Alright, well then we'll we'll uh we'll 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 see you at the next episode. Yeah. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> that was rough.